In this video, we're talking about how to dribble a soccer ball. Now, I want to break it down for you so it's really simple, but basically there are three things that I want you to think about. The first thing is just keeping the ball close to you with little touches. It's better for you to have lots of little touches than it is to have big, heavy touches that get away from you and give too much time for the defender to come in the way and win the ball, okay? So when you're dribbling, think about keeping the ball close with these little touches, little touches, okay? Little touches, little touches, keeping the ball close to your body, okay? If you can get in the habit of thinking, okay, I'm gonna have really nice, soft, delicate touches, little touches, you're gonna keep possession of the ball much more often. Okay, now saying that, there are times when you will have to take bigger touches. For example, if I have space, say I'm on the wing, where I beat a player and then there's space in the middle, I want to take a bigger touch because I want to run with that ball. So if you're going to sprint with the ball, then you can take those bigger touches because it's tough for me to sprint with little touches like this, okay? So let's say I receive the ball, there's space, I can get it out of my feet then and sprint, okay? But when I'm in close areas and there's people around me, you want to use these little touches, keep the ball close to your feet. Okay, now I want you to think about cutting. Because that's basically all you need, especially if you're a starter, to get yourself out of trouble. So say I'm going that defender here, okay? I need to be able to cut to the right. I need to be able to cut to the left with both feet. I need to be able to cut to the right. And I need to be able to cut to the left. Okay, so remember little touches to start. Little touches when you want to get away from people. Just think about cuts, 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 cuts. Okay, change of direction is gonna help you a lot when it comes to dribbling. So little touches, cuts, 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 okay? Think about practicing your cuts the next time you're in a game or the next time you're in a practice. You don't need all these fancy things. You can add that stuff later, okay? You can add all these tricks later. But in the beginning, just start with the cuts. Okay, that's how you get past people. Take them this way, cut that way. Okay, another thing I want you to think about when you're dribbling, when you get in trouble, so say you're dribbling and people are closing you down, you get in trouble, the easiest thing you can do to keep possession of the ball is just turn. Okay, so I'm going here, they trap me, I just turn, go the other way. Trap me, turn, go the other way. Turn, go the other way. Okay, now obviously, the more touches you take, the longer you're on the ball, the more people are gonna close you down. So you wanna get rid of the ball quickly, then you wanna move into space to get it back. Okay, but if you are getting trapped, so say I'm dribbling this way, someone's here, just turn out of trouble, okay? You don't have to always get through them, especially if there's numbers there. Okay, you can just turn, play that pass to your teammate and then come in space get the ball back and go again, okay? But think about just turning on the ball. It'll help you a lot. Okay, where a guy's on my side here, he's trapping me. I just turn, it's tough for him to stay with a turn. Okay, just turn, turn. Okay, so those little touches, keep it close. You don't want big, heavy touches. Otherwise, the defender's gonna come in the way. When you're trying to get past people or go into space, just think about cuts rather than fancy moves. And then when you are getting in trouble, the easiest way to get out of trouble is just turn. Turn, get your head up, make a pass, or... Turn, go the other way. It's not on, turn, go the other way. Okay, turn, turn, turn. Make sure you get your body in the way when you turn. Don't just rely on your foot, okay? Get your body in the way, protect the ball. Good, the final thing, so that's three things there. The final thing I wanna say when dribbling is I want you to think about being very direct when you have the ball. Okay, so it's good to get in the habit. Whenever there's like space, let's say, well, let's say for example, we're attacking this net. Okay, and a pass is played to me and I receive the ball. Okay, first thing I wanna think about is there space here, I wanna take my first touch there and then I wanna take off. Okay, you wanna think about Running with the ball, sprinting with the ball, as soon as you get it. If no one's closing you down, take that space in front of you right away. Okay, a lot of us, we get in the habit of 
we're very slow when we have the ball. We're fast when we don't have the ball, but when we do have the ball, we move very slow, okay? So say, for example, you receive the ball from a teammate, you receive, then you get your head up, then you turn, and then it's like jogging with the ball. There's no purpose, there's no direction, there's no attacking energy and attitude, okay? So when you're dribbling, I want you to think about sprinting with the ball. Think about players like Ronaldo, like Gareth Bale, like Di Maria. Go and watch those guys. Watch some compilations of them dribbling, okay? What does it look like? Is it slow? Is it casual? No, it's direct. It's got pace, it's attacking the net right away. Okay guys, so let's recap quick. Small little touches, keep the ball close. You don't want big heavy touches, you're gonna lose the ball, okay? Think about cuts, cutting to change direction. If a defender's here, I don't have to do three step overs to go that way. I can just cut, get low, quick change of direction, and then go that way. If you're getting in trouble, you're getting trapped, just turn, okay? Put your body through the ball, just turn. Turn and then play your pass, move into space to get it back, or turn and then dribble, like we said, with speed, with purpose, okay? That's the biggest thing, and that changes in your mind. If you can just say, okay, next practice or next game, when I get out there, as soon as I get the ball, when I'm dribbling, I'm gonna have purpose. I'm gonna sprint to the net with the ball. If someone gets in the way, I'm just gonna dodge them with a little cut. And again, be very direct, go to the net, okay? Don't be casual, no jogging with the ball. Yes, yeah, sometimes you need to slow it down, but when there's space in front of you, you need to score goals, you wanna score goals, be very direct, have lots of purpose and speed with your dribbling. All right guys, I hope this video helped you out a lot. Please give me a quick thumbs up. Please comment below if you have any advice to share with other people watching this video. If you have any questions to ask, please comment below. I will do my best to answer those. And please share this video with your friends and teammates. Thank you for watching this video on how to dribble a soccer ball.